hi guys welcome to my channel i hope that you guys are having an amazing day my name is myra and this is my beauty channel today i thought it would be great to film an eyebrow tutorial since Tada! by the background you guys already see that i finally got my backdrop if you guys have not already seen my previous vlog i would go and check that out that way you are kind of caught up on the whole backdrop thing so with that being said let's just get right into today's tutorial because of course that is the only reason why you guys clicked on today's video because you guys want to know how I do my eyebrows or you guys are just looking for a different way to do your eyebrows so i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and let's just get right into it so first we're gonna start by priming our eyebrows with this lorac behind the scene eye primer this i got it as a gift but i know that they sell it over at sephora so i love to prime both my eyebrows and my eyelids before applying any type of eyeshadow or any liner here i have a morphe pencil brush this is a micro brow pencil in the color java and as you could tell this is a two-ended stick on one side it has the little bristles to comb out your eyebrows with and on the other end it has the pencil side so here i'm just shaping out my eyebrows i always just go over my natural shaped brows and with a very light hand, I start to apply the product. And you wanna make sure that you have a very, very light hand. You always want to start off very light-handed because you don't wanna start off with applying too much product because then you're just gonna have to wipe off the whole brow. So this way it helps you to just start very lightly and as you just brush out the product onto your eyebrows, you will then darken up the brow. And as the tutorial goes through, you will see that they do get a little darker. So while applying the product onto your brow, you wanna make sure that you comb out the product as you go. Now, if you go back to the beginning of the video, you see how I've applied the product and then I comb out. This is actually a tip that I picked up from Kylie Jenner's makeup artist, Ariel, and that's how he does it. So I thought that it was a very smart idea because again, it distributes the product throughout the eyebrow instead of you applying the product over and over and over the product that's already sitting on your brow. Please feel free to comment down below in the comment section letting me know if a slower paced eyebrow tutorial like this is giving you a better idea of how you get a good brow without having to do the fast paced videos. At this point, I'm happy with the way that they're coming out, so I'm just going to leave them as such. We're going to start by carving our eyebrows using the LA Girl Pro Concealer, and this is in the color Natural. I'm going to carve my brow with the Morphe M167 brush and also my Mud makeup brush in the number 300. So here I'm applying the product from the concealer that we're gonna shape our eyebrows with and I'm applying it on the back of my palm. That way the concealer starts to just warm up and settle on the back of my palm before I apply it directly onto my eyebrow. Now we're gonna pick up our Morphe M167 brush and we're gonna pick up some of the concealer and we're gonna start by carving out our eyebrow. I'm just trying to get an idea of where I wanna start. And again, here with a very 
light hand I'm carving out the shape of my brow and this step is very important if you want a very precise eyebrow you don't ever want to do your eyebrows while you're in a rush because it's slim to none that you're gonna get that brow and to me a very sharp very well done eyebrow is everything to me so again this is why I say take your time because it will show so once I'm done carving the bottom of my brow I then start distributing the product all over my lid and that way you blend the concealer that you've carved your eyebrow and then just bring it on down now we're going to pick up an elf flawless concealer brush this brush is amazing i got it over at target i believe that they're around three to four dollars very very inexpensive i love this brush amazing now with this brush i love to just set the concealer that we've shaped our brows with and just spread it evenly make sure that you are using dabbing 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 motion because you don't want to move it all you want to do is just set it and make it look flawless airbrushed that's the type of vibe we're going for now with this other mud 300 brush i go over or i should say go under the product that i carved my eyebrows with that way i'm just getting a much cleaner line as you guys could see it is just distributing the product as i am continuing to just carve out the brow make sure that you have a nice and steady hand because you don't want to have an uneven brow due to too much shaking or movement now by this point i think you guys have gotten the idea that this step is very important because you guys look at that once again and with a dabbing upward motion we are going to set the concealer that we have just gone over and by this point you guys the product has already somewhat set onto the skin and so by this point it's not going anywhere i love that finish though look at that now we're going to start off with the other eyebrow and again with that morphe m167 brush we're gonna do exactly what we just did on the other brow because sometimes some people need to visually see it in slow or live motion in order for them to get the idea because some of these makeup videos they use the very fast speed and you're trying to ca catch up but yet you don't so I hope you guys are loving these slow paced videos because I am enjoying it. I hope you guys are too. Go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Don't be shy. Comment down below. Let me know if this is helping you out. Now we go back to the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush. And again, very lightly dab, dab, dab because we don't want to move the product. We want it to sit on our skin and just look airbrushed. And that is the goal here. We go back to the Mud 300 brush and evenly distribute the concealer how we had done to the other brow and just continue to shape the brow until we get to that shape that we desire. Now back with the Morphe M167 brush, we evenly distribute more of the concealer that we had originally placed on our palm and we just give our lid a nice coat and back with the e.l.f. flawless concealer brush, we just dab, dab, dab all over the lid until we get that nice clean look. So here I went back to the Mud 300 brush because I was unhappy with the shape of my brow once I had already set the concealer and I decided to carve it out once more and it actually came out better than what I wanted. Sometimes we have to go over our brow 
one to maybe two times even if you took your time shaping out your brow as you can see this happened to me and i took my time so that's why you guys i cannot stress this enough take your time so now we're going to be using once more the morphe m167 brush and distribute some more of the concealer because we moved the concealer once we shaped our brows for a second time and back with the flawless elf concealer brush we're just dabbing 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 and setting the concealer on our lids okay so now i am satisfied with the way that my eyebrows turned out love the shape now we're going to go back to the Morphe Java pencil that we first used to shape our brows. And we're just going to go over the concealer um, and just darken up the brow. Again, as you guys could see, this is what I'm talking about. When you start very light handedly, you can then go back and then just shade in the brow. You could either keep it as is or just darken it up a little bit more to my liking i like them darker so that's why i am going in a second time and just shaping the brow At, by this point you guys it's easy peasy because you've already carved out your brow all you're doing is just going over your brows very lightly with the pencil until you have achieved that nice coverage that you want your brows to be now here is a quick little tip if you feel like you just went ham on your brows and they're looking just way too dark go over it with a nice loose finishing powder for example maybe a Maybelline New York fit me loose powder with a nice fluffy brush and make sure you dab that way you don't just put this blob of powder on your brows and that should give them a lighter effect. I love to set my brows with this got to be glued um, styling gel. It's amazing. I just put it on the back of my palm, go back to the bristles that the pencil has, and I just roll it around, make it tacky, and I go right onto my brow, make sure that my hairs are set and not going anywhere because sometimes we have these crazy little hairs that are just so stubborn and are always poking out that drives me insane so that's why i go over my brows with the got to be glue this is my handy dandy i love 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 you could get it either at target walgreens walmart anywhere same thing i'm doing to the next brow just styling it shaping my brow that gives it more of a natural effect and it just gives it a much more cleaner look so now i am completely done with my eyebrows i'm gonna go back with the remaining concealer that i have on the back of my palm because you never want to waste any product and so i'm just placing a little bit more on my lid that way i can do the rest of my makeup i do this um, for my eyeshadows they come out much more pigmented um, I don't know if you've ever done eyeshadow looks and sometimes they look like dull and just not what they appear on the palette so this will give it a much nicer effect once it's placed on your lid Thank you guys so much for watching today's tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed it as much as i did if you haven't already go ahead and subscribe to my channel don't forget to click on that notification bell that way every time that i do upload you guys are the first ones to know